Greg here in Sarasota, Florida, which is where our corporate office is. I'm usually in our Rhinotech office up in Egan, Minnesota, where we do all our manufacturing distribution, uh, but um, I didn't want to wait until I was back up there. I want to get this product out to you ASAP. It's called Rhino Color, which is a heat transfer system that encompasses a wide variety of pre-printed colored sheets, such as these. You have metallics, you have neon colors, you have white, you have black, yellow, blue, red, and so on, green. Um, and what this is, is a case where you want to do a one color onto a shirt, and at the same time, you don't want to be using vinyl because you're going to have to sit there and cut it, you're going to have to weed it, you're going to have to mask it. Uh, heat transfer down in the shirt. Here, we simply take one of our pieces, in this particular case it's going to be a yellow. I take the image that I want to do and I print it with my laser printer onto the dull side of the surface. That is the coated side of this polyester carrier. Now, the importance of polyester carrier is that we don't have to worry about it, especially if we're up in Minnesota or, or Wisconsin and down in, in the south, where we get a lot of humidity in the summertime, expansion, contraction, a lot of moisture, more so than anything. Um, so here we simply have a pre-colored sheet I've printed in black using my Oki printer. There's a wide variety of printers that can be used, not just Oki. Um, I mirrored my image so that when I put it down onto the surface of the shirt, it's actually going to come out right reading. We take that in conjunction with our B sheet. Okay, so we have our image sheet, or A sheet. We have our transfer sheet, our B sheet. Now the B sheet has a coating over it. And what we're going to do is we're going to marry these together, and what I like to do is put my A sheet down, image up, my B sheet on top of it, and I like to fold back one of the corners, which is going to make it easier for me to then get uh, grab a hold of it and do a hot peel. So we put it into our heat press, and I'm just using a bond paper here to cover it up so that corner doesn't stick uh, to the top of my heat press, and we press. Now, this particular paper takes a little longer than like our Rhino Dark, which is, you know, printed image in multicolor, transferred down onto the surface of a dark garment. So this one, we're actually doing at 320 degrees. And I want to tell you now that 320 degrees is a starting point for you to work with. It's going to depend a lot on what the type of heat press you have. You might want to go up just a little bit. You may actually want to go down to 295. But that's you have to work with your, your heat press a little bit to tone in the temperature that's best for you. Um, we're going to be doing this between 90 and 120 seconds. With this particular heat press, I know I need to give it a little bit more time. So I'm going to give it 120 seconds. Then we're going to take a shirt and I'm going to roll this up a little bit and I do a, a little wipe around on the surface of the, of the paper and the film to make sure that there were no bubbles in between and I can, because it's still hot, I can press them down into place and then we do our hot peel. So when this actually lets me know that it's done, it'll beep in this particular case. This particular model is the R, RS1620 Swing Away which has digital time, digital temperature, and of course your adjustment right here for up height pressure kind of thing. Have about eight seconds left here. And that's it. We take off our paper here. I'm going to rub it for about five seconds. I just want to make sure that again I have complete contact between the two surfaces. Since this is very hot, I'm going to hold it down with my shirt, grab a hold of the paper, and roll it back 
in a consistent, smooth action. Such as that. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but everywhere there was toner here, that has come off of this surface and is stuck on top of the toner. Now, what this is going to do is going to give us the ability for our adhesion onto our shirt, the durability in washing, and um, we go to the next step. Now, if I'm in a production situation, I'm obviously going to print, if I'm doing 10 shirts, I'm going to print all 10 of these, then I'm going to come back and do this step 10 times, then I'm going to come back and put it on the shirt 10 times in a row. Okay. We have our image. That over there, we have a shirt that we're going to use. So I want to get that lined up in position. I'm going to press it for five to ten seconds, and what I'm doing is getting any wrinkles out. I'm taking moisture out of the surface, and we'll move forward from there. Now, before I put that down on the shirt. One of the things I want to do is just trim off around the very edge. And the reason I'm doing this is not because it has to be a trim product, but sometimes right on the edge between the two pieces of paper, the film of the A and the B sheet, it might leave a little bit of a white line. And if we cut it off, we don't have to worry about it. There we go. So I'm going to take my pressed shirt. I'm going to line up my design. I'm going to cover it again with my simple bond paper. And I'm going to press this for 30 seconds. Now this can vary as well depending on the type of shirt you're using. So it can be uh, 25 seconds, say up to 35 seconds. But I found for this particular one that I want to do it for 30 seconds. Once that's done, we're going to set the shirt aside, let it cool, and then we peel off our uh, film. I see my sheet is stuck to the surface there. It's okay. So we let that cool, then we come back in, I keep doing my shirts, I keep doing my shirts, it can sit there for 5 minutes, it can sit there for 10 minutes, it can sit there for an hour, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. What you want to do is just make sure it's cool to the touch, and at that point we can peel the surface off. Well, Let's see if this is cooled off enough at this point, not quite, we'll let it go for a little bit longer. Okay, and once we'll again, that off. you want to make sure it's cool. I'm going to pick it up in the corner here and I'm going to roll it back. Sometimes I find if I start to work it in a curve like that, it releases easier. And everywhere we had the toner has now transferred down onto the surface of the shirt. And there we are. Now, what I like to do is always go back and give it a second press for about 10 seconds. Because as you can see when I was doing this, I'm pulling away from the grain, even though I'm rolling it. And subsequently, it can start to lift things periodic a little bit. So with another press, I definitely have put it in place and we're ready to go. So I'm going to put my shirt back in, take my paper, only in this case I'm going to use a parchment paper. Give it that 10 seconds and bam. We have a beautiful zombie hunter shirt just in the nick of time for Halloween so I want to thank you for watching you know where to find us until next time